Welcome to Car Coach Reports. This is 4 Minute Friday for the week ending August 31st, 2018, going into the Labor Day weekend. I'm Lauren Fix. This is what's going on in your automotive world. Stay right with us. Let's put four minutes on the clock. Number one, the NAFTA agreement. That's a North American Free Trade Agreement. I'm just gonna give you an overview of what's going on. There is an agreement in place with Mexico. Basically, they're going to raise the rates of the hourly pay for those employees in Mexico. And of course, that helps us because the reason they went to Mexico to begin with was they were trying to save money with lower per hour rates. Also, the proposed agreement will have a 25% tariff on those vehicles that don't have a minimum amount of product that comes from North America or built in North America. And that could mean more American-made cars. By Friday of this week, being today, if Canada does not make an agreement with the old 24-year-old agreement, that means they will no longer be available to get into that agreement. So, of course, they're rushing to have an agreement made. They say there is good progress, so we'll find out more about that. And if it's something intriguing, I'll put out a post for you on my Twitter. Of course, you can never tell with politics when it mixes with business. So we'll be watching for that as well. Number two, what happened last week at Pebble Beach? Well, if you are a car enthusiast, you knew it was Monterey Automotive Week. It is very exciting. There's a lot going on. But the winner of the Concorde d'Elegance is a 1937 Alfa Romeo 8C Touring Berlinetta. It's fresh off a restoration, which brought it to its 1938 Berlin Motor Show appearance, which is kind of cool. Really neat car, and the owners are from the US. Actually, they're from Beverly Hills. That probably wouldn't surprise you. Beyond the many car shows and the beautiful events, there was my favorite, the auctions. There are four auction houses. There were some significant cars sold. Two record sales dominating the 2018 Monterey Auction Week. Number one was a 1962 Ferrari GTO that sold for a record $48.8 million. And that was at RM Sotheby's. And the most expensive American car sold ever was a 1935 Duesenberg SSJ Roadster. We got to see that as well. That sold for $22 million at my other favorite auction, which is Gooding & Company. These were also live streamed, so if you didn't get a chance to see them or you want to see them in the future, live streaming them is almost as exciting as being there, but there's nothing like being there in person. Number three, it's back to school time and commuters are back on the road. Cars.com did a survey that took the average commuting time from 21 to 23 minutes for the average driver on the road. For 79% of the commuters, they called those 20 minutes me time. They called it a zen moment. I don't know about you, for me it's not zen. That's why I want your comments down below. <laughs> Usually it's far from zen, at least in my car. Uh, though the survey results were very interesting, 40% of commuters love driving, being in their car, especially those from Chicago and Houston. I agree with you. I love driving my car, who claim they're content. But 26% of commuters that are from Los Angeles, they were very frustrated. They were stressed behind the wheel, and nearly one-fourth of Washington, D.C. commuters said they were annoyed or angry, that was 23%, and fatigued, 24%, compared to 15 to 13% on a national basis. This is my favorite one, which I hope you're not part of this group. 38% of commuters admit to being likely to swear at other drivers, like they can hear you, when experiencing road rage, especially in Washington, D.C. 49% said they were frustrated there, along with 46% from Chicago and 45% from L.A. I think you need to find a way to become Zen instead of yelling at other drivers, because first off, they can't hear you, and if they did hear you, there's no need for road rage. That just leads to some really bad situations. This week in automotive history, Bertha Benz was the first driver. Although Carl Benz built the first car in 1888, he was out of town and his wife convinced his kids to push the car out of the barn and she took it for a drive. 
What an amazing piece of history that she was the first driver because she felt that the world needed to know about transportation. And her ingenuity and her creativity still lives today when you look at Mercedes-Benz. They are a cutting edge company. I have to say, this is a really cool video and worth your time. This is what's going on in your automotive world. Please have a very safe and sober Labor Day weekend. If you like this video, we appreciate your likes and shares. We just reached 20,000 subscribers. We will be having a contest with some very cool prizes. If you love this video and you really want to help us, check out our Patreon page. We do appreciate the support. And sign up for that Car Coach Reports newsletter at laurenfix.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media. All the information's down below. Have a great holiday weekend.